All right, welcome to number three video where I'm talking about how to monetize the idea. And if you missed my previous two videos, make sure to go back because in the first video I was talking about the mindset, the importance of mindset, because that is the foundation if you want to go from idea to successful, profitable business. So go back and check it out. And also I was talking about how you define your purpose because there's so many people asking this question. I don't know what's my purpose. I don't know what's my calling. How do I determine the purpose? How do I know what's my calling? So go back and check it out. Now in this video, I want to cover how you monetize that purpose. So once you define your purpose and your calling, the next step is to monetize it. So stay tuned because I'm going to go deep. All right. So here we are day three video number three where I'm talking about how you monetize your purpose. This is actually a very cool video in my opinion because there's so many people who are dreaming. You know, there's so many people who have big dreams. They have these great ideas, but when it comes to monetizing, they get stuck. They don't know what to do. And I'm here to help you guys because I'm super, super, super passionate about executing. I love to execute those who know me that I, they know that I execute very fast. And I don't care if I make mistake, I just go and do it because that's the only way how I actually move forward. Otherwise, I just keep dreaming and trust me, I'm a big dreamer. So let's make this happen. How can you monetize the idea? So yesterday I talked about defining your purpose, defining your calling. If you missed that video, go back, check it out. First day one, it was about foundation. You need to have the right mindset, especially when there is a challenge on the way, you're going to be obviously challenged and you need to sustain it. You need to embrace the challenge. You need to embrace the failure in order to actually carry on to your destination. So today is about monetization. How can you monetize the idea? So let's suppose you do have the idea. Okay. Let's suppose that you do have the idea that you want to monetize again. Like I'm going to use myself, myself as a, as a case study example, right? Um, so when I started my company, I just had idea. I want to help other immigrants, right? Later on, I realized I actually want to help the immigrant entrepreneurs. Why? Because I was myself immigrant entrepreneur. I was facing similar challenges and I could relate to these people. Now, in order to monetize this idea that you have, you need to get very, very clear on who do you want to serve? Why? Because you need to eliminate the competition. The fastest and the easiest way to eliminate the competition is to actually stand out by being you. So what do I mean by that? You are original. You are special. There is no, no one else like you. You have a certain skill set that no one else has because it's you. Okay. There is no clone of you. So because of that, you can perfectly define people you want to attract into your business as ideal clients. In order to do that, I don't want you just to focus on the typical creating the avatar demographics like What's the age of the person? Where do they live? What do they like? What hobbies do they have? Where do they hang out? What do they watch? What do they read? These are obvious things, right? You need to define who is your ideal client, but I also want you to define how do you want to feel on energetic level, vibrational level when you interact with these people? Why? Because when you define how you want to feel, that is the fastest way to attract the ideal clients into your life. And if you believe in law of attraction, if you believe in the law of vibration, in the other universal laws, you know that you attract by the feeling that you send out, not necessarily by the thoughts, because feelings are stronger, more potent energy. And because of that, you need to really, really get clear on how you want to feel if you want to work with this particular group of people. And I want you to be very specific. Don't be afraid to be specific because if you are not specific, you're going to attract people who are not resonating with you and you're just going to be frustrated. Trust me, I've been there, done that. Because I was afraid to actually define who do I want to attract as a client, I was attracting people who were not aligned vibrationally with who I am and there was this friction and it wasn't really good for me, it wasn't good for them and then we were not able to create the results we want. Same thing with you, you need to align energetically, vibrationally with the ideal client that you want to attract, not just on paper, like the demographics, but vibrationally. What do you want to feel? How do you want to communicate with this person? What kind of interaction you have, right? You need to define it. Second, 
Also, you want to define on a paper, like what kind of person is this? What's the age? Where do they live? Like all the typical demographics define the ideal client avatar. Once you have that in place, I want you to actually do two things. First, I want you to figure out where do they hang out, what social media platform they hang out and choose that social media platform. For example, if you choose Facebook, you might want to look for groups where these people hang out. And then I want you to become active in those groups. If you choose Instagram, you might look for these people on Instagram and I want you to actually start engaging with these people in a nice way, just a friendly way. And then I want you to engage vibrationally. What do I mean by that? This is a little crazy. It might sound a little crazy for some of you. When I say engage vibrationally, I mean start communicating from a place of this person is already my client and then start feeling into it. Do you feel like this person can be your client energetically? right? Maybe you can invite them to jump on a quick call with you and see if you can help them and feel it in your heart. Feel the resonance, eat resonance in your heart. If you feel the resonance in your heart, then it's going to be a perfect sign you are aligned and you will create the results you're looking for. Otherwise, you will not create the results you're looking for. And I want you to be very careful. Don't say yes to people you actually feel to say no. Don't be afraid to say no. Again, I've done it mistakes like that and it would turn out in a negative way in the long run. You don't want to do that. It's not worth it. It's not worth of your time and the money you receive because then money is energy. You don't want to just take energy from someone who is not your ideal client vibrationally. Again, I'm talking vibration. That being said, trust your gut. Absolutely trust your gut in the process. So organically, how do you actually validate the idea? When I say organically, I mean you don't pay for any ads, you don't pay for advertising, none of those things. You organically go out there and you validate the idea. You connect with people who are like you. You can even go out there, you can even do meetup groups, you can join these meetup groups in your city if you want to meet people in person. If you are online practicing, doing business online, you want to look for these people online. Where do they hang out? And then connect with them. You know, you find so many professionals on LinkedIn these days. So I highly suggest even go to, to LinkedIn. If you are selling products, obviously you're probably not going to find the ideal clients on LinkedIn, but you never know, right? The bottom line is connect with people, connect on the hard level. Don't just go out there and don't just like solicit people. Don't spam. It's really annoying, especially these days, right? There's so many spammers. People send like all kinds of messages. I'm like, this is crazy. This is like, who, like there is no hard connection. You will never call someone if there is no hard connection. That being said, that goes to the next point. Once you find these people on social media for free and you create a connection between them, you ask them what problems they are facing, right? What challenges they have. And then you offer the solution to their problem, which is, by the way, your offer. So you need to craft the offer, resonating offer to these people. You need to offer your service or your product to these people and see what's the reaction and collect the feedback. Be the mad scientist. Don't be afraid to collect the feedback. If you're collecting negative feedback, it's okay. You just accept it and then you change something and you go out there and do it again. Now, at the point, when you reach a point where you're actually about to close this person, they're going to give you their credit card information. That's the confirmation that you just validated your idea. And I highly suggest to at least to have three to five people like that who will give you their credit card information. They will validate, you will validate the idea. This way you have confirmation proof that the idea has been validated. So guys, I hope it makes sense because this is everything that I'm teaching. Not just everything, more obviously. This is just a surface level, but this is something that I'm teaching in the upcoming program, the success blueprint program how you go from idea to profitable purpose-driven business in just six weeks and if this resonates with you you can book a call with me and my team to see if we have the hard resonance to see if we can help you to see if we are good match because here's the deal if we have the if we are the good match energetically i will be able to help you you will get the results you're looking for and you are happy i'm happy everybody is happy here so I do want to invite you, the link is going to be below this video. If you are watching me on other social media like LinkedIn, like especially Instagram, the link is going to be in bio, otherwise it's going to be below. You are happy to book the call, strategy call, which is free with me and my team and we can go from there.